Training and nutrition. Untrained individuals primarily burn body fat, whereas trained individuals predominantly burn carbohydrates. However, when it comes to training pigeons, the dynamics are different. For optimal training as an athlete, you need to consume approximately 8 to 10 grams of carbohydrates per kilogram of body weight. To illustrate, an athlete weighing 70 kilograms would require a maximum of 700 grams of carbohydrates. This amount may seem substantial, especially compared to those who are not engaged in sports, as they would only consume about half of that. It's worth noting that athletes rely on not only carbohydrates but also fats and proteins for energy. Unfortunately, our Western culture tends to have an excessive intake of fat and inadequate consumption of carbohydrates, which hinders peak athletic performance. Hydration is equally crucial, so ensure you drink enough fluids, especially water. It's advisable to avoid eating within 2-4 to four hours before a competition. When you do consume food, make sure it contains an ample amount of carbohydrates. In preparation for a competition, the carbohydrate loading technique is effective. This involves reducing training intensity while increasing carbohydrate intake through foods like noodles, pasta, cornflakes, muesli, and toasted white bread. Yes, white bread is recommended in the final days before a competition, as it contains minimal fiber. This is important because high blood sugar levels trigger increased insulin production, leading to greater glucose absorption. Training Pigeons, Pigeon Training and Nutrition During prolonged competitions lasting more than 45 minutes, consuming carbohydrates can enhance performance. However, not all carbohydrates are equally suitable. The most beneficial options are glucose, from cane or beet sugar, or dextrin-maltose combinations, as they are quickly absorbed into the bloodstream and provide immediate energy for active muscles. On the other hand, fructose, fruit sugars, are less effective because they are not assimilated as efficiently. Keep in mind that there is a limit to how many carbohydrates can be absorbed during the event, approximately 60 to 65 grams per hour. Consuming excessive amounts can have a disruptive effect, so it's important to find the right balance. A drink containing about 7% carbohydrate concentration, providing 60 grams of carbohydrates per hour in a volume of 850 milliliters, is considered ideal. Consuming too many energy drinks like Red Bull can increase the risk of stomach or intestinal discomfort. There is much more to discuss regarding nutrition and endurance sports for humans, but let's shift our focus to the unique nutritional needs of pigeons. Training Pigeons, Nutrition for Racing Pigeons Unlike humans, pigeons perspire significantly less during flight, and they cannot drink water while in flight. As caretakers, it is our responsibility to ensure our pigeons do not suffer from thirst. If pigeons do manage to drink water during their journey, we must consider the quality of the water they consumed. Additionally, Pigeons that take time to drink will arrive home later than anticipated. Therefore, it is advisable to use electrolytes during warm temperatures as they aid in retaining moisture, which is crucial. Similar to humans, pigeons should not start their competitions with a full stomach to avoid digestive issues. All the necessary nutrients should already be stored and digested before the race begins. Racing pigeons, like humans, can store only small amounts of glycogen in their white muscle fibers. However, Racing pigeons primarily rely on fatty acids as their main fuel source, approximately 3 to 3.5 grams per hour of flying. Glycogen stored in the white muscles is utilized during the first 10 minutes of flight. Subsequently, pigeons can fly for a maximum of 45 minutes using glycogen stored in the blood and liver. After this point, they transition to utilizing fat stored in the red muscles as their primary energy source, allowing them to fly for extended periods without experiencing muscle fatigue due to lactic acid buildup. However, there is a limit to their endurance, typically between 400 and 500 kilometers, where they may struggle to maintain a consistent flying pace. Approximately 30 minutes to an hour later, they regain their flying rhythm and continue at a more steady pace. Wind tunnel simulations and GPS tracking on racing pigeons have provided insights into this gradual decline in flying tempo. Recuperation Upon returning home after a demanding flight, pigeons' initial requirement is glycogen to ensure proper brain function. Without glycogen, the brain cannot function effectively. Hence, it is crucial to immediately provide carbohydrate-rich foods such as dextrose, along with electrolytes, in their drinking water and a mix containing a variety of grains and seeds. The mix should be nutritionally rich and diverse, enabling the pigeon to select according to its specific needs. One of the most important things is to learn as much as you can about the sport. You'll need to know the different types of pigeons, how to train them, and how to race them. Another key factor is practice. You'll need to be able to fly your pigeons competently in order to win races. And, of course, you'll need to have the funds to invest in racing pigeons and other racing equipment.
free racing pigeon tips and lots of info, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, look at the links and email below. There are many reasons to buy my racing pigeon method. Here are some of the best reasons. You will get excellent results, it's a very simple system to use, it's affordable, I have had over 400 first prize winners, it's adaptable to any situation. You can use it with any racing method, natural, widowhood, young birds, it's a very effective method. There is no need to spend a lot of money on fancy pigeon products, it's a reliable system and it is foolproof to use. Professional athletes, race horses, take the same products, there is science behind this not just hearsay, it is all to do with red blood cells and oxygen in the blood, without that a pigeon will not race well, or an athlete will not win a race, if he has low oxygen in his blood, the above is fact and is 100% science. There are a few things you can do to improve your chances of winning at racing pigeons. One of the most important things is to learn as much as you can about the sport. You'll need to know the different types of pigeons, how to train them, and how to race them. Another key factor is practice. You'll need to be able to fly your pigeons confidently in order to win races. And, of course, you'll need to have the funds to invest in racing pigeons and other racing equipment. free racing pigeon tips and lots of info, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, look at the links and email below.